why shouldn't our students have the same opportunity for high level standards so that they can compete in this global world that we live in? This is about Arizona control for education. They are not higher standards. Nothing about them has been proven. The fight over Common Core could soon be in the hands of lawmakers. The House will soon debate a proposal that could do away with Common Core and adopt new standards. Two weeks ago, a similar proposal failed in the Senate. But some lawmakers, they still want to drop the standards used by more than 40 other states. Tonight, Erica Flores has the very latest from the Capitol. Erica? Brandon, Jamie, lawmakers were supposed to debate that bill today, but that bill has been tabled. There were parents that were here to see that scheduled debate, and there are very passionate opinions both for and against Common Core. I do see the need for it. I just wish that Arizona would have instituted it gradually, starting with kindergartners going forward. Uh, so that it wouldn't be so harsh. What I am mostly concerned about is the federal influence in our state's ability to make decisions about how students in Arizona are educated. Every parent here at the state capitol has an opinion on Common Core, the standards that were implemented to make sure all students graduate high school with the skills needed for college, a career, and life. I like the application that Common Core has to real life situations. But some parents feel it isn't working. Too guided into one area of of approach to education and so therefore it limits the ability to actually have a well-rounded society. April Betts and Elizabeth Castle say Common Core needs improvement but shouldn't be dropped. I don't think that that the that it should be completely um, cut out right now because the districts have spent so much money on um, textbooks and materials and the districts are already hurting. Joni Lecky and Tracy Langston were in the gallery waiting to hear the House debate on Common Core. When it's so specific, we rule out so many other areas of education that are then, it puts too much strain on the teachers, it puts too much strain on the budget, it puts also a lot of strain on the students. But the bill was tabled. When items are moved on the agenda at the last minute like that, it becomes really difficult for citizens to engage because it took time out of our schedule to be down here. Some lawmakers saying they think the bill was tabled because there weren't enough votes to pass it today. I'm told the bill could be debated as soon as tomorrow and many parents saying they will be here. Some parents were disappointed to see the bill tabled. When items are moved on the agenda at the last minute like that, it becomes really difficult for citizens to engage because it took time out of our schedule to be down here and other people took work off for today to be down here and then when the items just moved, those citizens are completely cut out of the process unless they can take another day off work. Some lawmakers telling us they think the bill was tabled because there weren't enough votes to pass it today. HB 2190 would drop common core standards, the standards that were implemented to make sure all students graduate high school with the skills needed for college. I like the application that common core has to real life situations. And Elizabeth Castle says it shouldn't be dropped. That's not the solution. Do I think it's the best? Have my, my kids have struggled with some of it, with the, um, especially the math curriculum, introducing it, you know, in fourth grade and fifth grade when they haven't learned it from the time they were small. But April Bed says she agrees with Castle. I don't think that, that, the, that it should be completely um, cut out right now because the districts have spent so much money on um, textbooks and materials and the districts are already hurting. They don't have new, they don't have the funds to buy new materials right now. Tracy Langston and Joni Lecky say they disagree. They hope the bill passes. What I am mostly concerned about is the federal influence in our state's ability to make decisions about how students in Arizona are educated. There's so much more strength in a local administration of education.